Hello YouTube, Jenny Mon 2005 here with a review of the Kamen Rider Gaim Arms Change PB01 Kamen Rider Bujin Gaim Blood Orange Arms. Now this PB is Premium Bandai. So this is a Premium Bandai exclusive figure. And uh, this is our movie exclusive rider for the Gaim and Wizard uh, movie Tyson uh, movie. Um, <laughs> they, and it's 01 because there are now five announced sets through Premium Bandai. 01 being this guy. 2, Bravo. 3 is Sigurd and uh, Marika. 4 is Knuckle. And then 5 is Mars and Kamuro from the Gaim Summer movie. So all of those become through Premium Bandai. Um, so let's take a look at the box. They gave him the same box as the regular uh, arms change figures just without... A window, so you see him on the front, AC, PB, both those logos there, the movie logo, Kamen Rider Bujin Guy, Blood Orange Arms, PB01 right there, um, Blood Orange Arms, John Omichi on stage, him right there. You also see Zangetsu Ryugin and Baron with the Blood Orange Arms uh, on the back, him facing off against regular Gaim. So let's take a look. We, we get with this guy, we get. So we have naked Bujin Gaim, right? Which is just Gaim with a diff couple different features, which we'll take a look at. The big blood orange armor right here. And then we have the blood orange helmet faceplate. His own Musou saber, because what would a Gaim figure be without a Musou saber? And the blood orange Dai Dai Maru right down there so let's take a look at this guy right we can see he looks just like Gaim except up here is red and then the mouth plate is black like the Jinba Gaim everything else is exactly the same look at him he's you know I'm gonna pull Gaim out in a little bit but everything else is exactly um, the same this is just a red version of the orange armor, but with these black markings on it, right? And as usual, we can open it up and put the faceplate in it. Um, and there we go. So that can go in just like anything else. The Musou Saber is the same one that regular Gaim had and can be attached to his belt. If I can line the hole up, there we go, right? Just like this. And the Dai Dai Maru is just a red Dai Dai Maru. So really it makes sense being a repaint to just be a premium Bandai exclusive. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. We'll put the armor on him. All right? We'll clip it on like always. And then we'll fold it down every which side and fold down the back. All right. And there we have it. Common Rider Bujin Gaim Blood Orange Arms. He has the same articulation as all the other figures, so we're really not going to go through that. You've all seen it at this point. And we'll just close his hands around his Dai Dai Maru. And bam! There we have completed the look. And he is ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and grab Gaim uh, out of my big bag of arms change figures. That's Jinba Gaim. This is regular Gaim right here. Alright, so we can see the differences are all in the helmet. And let's grab the orange right here. So the orange armor, as you can see, it's just red instead of orange. And we can see how normal Gaim would look if he had blood orange by just lifting this up. And we'll leave the weapon there because I don't really care about the weapon. And we will switch them so that our villain, oops, now has a regular orange. And Kota, our hero, has the blood orange. Right, because blood orange just sounds like it's something badass. Okay, so you... And blood orange Kota. 
the right here. So it's really not too different, mostly because um, there is almost no difference in the suit, just the mouth plate and the little crest. And that's what makes this one look funny, and this one just looks like, well, guy, I'm using a different lock seed. Um, the box showed what the other figures look like, so I'm not going to bother putting it on any of them. I can put it on... I don't know who would be funny. Uh, who's this? I literally just grabbed a random figure out of the box. Out of my bag, rather. Um, I think, here we go. This is Kuro Kage. So we are going to Blood Orange Kuro Kage. Because that's what happens when you have like a billion of these figures. You just grab one at random and go, let's put randomly grabbed armor on randomly grabbed figure and see what happens. So, Kamen Rider Kuro Kage. Blood Orange Arms because I got bored. Right, so that's pretty neat. Um, it's that same fun, playable functionality that we talk about with all the other arms change figures. And I don't really feel like doing any of the other armors that I have with Bujin Gaim simply because we did them with regular Gaim and it's literally the same thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the blood orange armor back on him. I don't know if I can get it off the Hase. Um, we'll put it back on this guy who, as we as it turned out after watching the movie, never actually had a transformation sequence, which is just weird. Uh, he just always was blood orange arms. So I don't know. Maybe we'll use it in the show at some point, and we'll get someone using an actual transformation. That would be nice. So there we have it. Uh, Bujin Gun blood orange arms. Our first premium Bandai figure. Is it a necessity? No, it's not. But it does still look pretty good, and it will give you the blood orange armor um, and another another guy figure because we don't have enough of those. Um, but you know, like I said, it's nice to just add something else to the mix that you can do as usual. So uh, yeah, until next time, check out the podcast RidersRangersAndRambles.com, bringing you the latest Toku news and the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Naked Bujin Gaim. <laughs> Moo Kaylee. Sorry. Hey, Daddy. Hi, Kaylee. Daddy, you have to see this. Yeah, I see. Go ahead. I have to see this. Where are your colors? Your eyes colors. I don't know. Go they ahead. Are, mine is a. Uh, I know you got blue eyes. You pretty blue eyes, huh? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, baby. Picture. Yeah. What's she doing?